Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Cryptoware. So we have discussed about some of the important theory that we would require for performing malware analysis, the actual malware analysis. Uh, what do I mean by actual performing actual malware analysis is performing the practicals. You just can't uh, depend, uh, can't be dependent on, uh, you know, the theoretical part unless you execute them, unless you have some ideas about them, how they are working, how everything is analyzed. So before that, we will be installing VirtualBox. As you can see that I have opened this link, virtualbox.org. We would need virtual machines. Why do we need virtual machines? So that we do not perform any kind of analysis, be it static and specially dynamic, into our host machines because we do not want to infect. So I'll be talking with respect to uh, Windows machines. You can download VirtualBox in your Linux machines as well. You can go through this link and you can select the required, uh, select the one, select the option as per the platform that you have. So it will start installing as you can see directly in their system. And once it gets installed, you can uh, directly uh, open it, it will get executed, it will get installed, sorry, in, into your system. You can, you can specify the location, if it is a C drive or it would be in D drive, any drive that you want to uh, install it in. You can check all those options. Okay. So when you click on install, it will get installed into your system. Now the next thing that uh, we will learn about how to move ahead, like after installing VirtualBox, how you are going to install and uh, a machine, a virtual machine over there. Of course, you can uh, use VMware as well. I prefer VirtualBox. So. Um, so you may choose another virtual machines as per your um, as per your convenience, but I prefer virtual box. So if you are a complete, uh, you know, uh, new to all these things, virtual box would be easier for you to understand. At least that's what I felt. Uh, so once you have installed virtual box, this is how the virtual box manager looks like. Now we will try to install a Windows machine because we'll be performing malware analysis in that particular machine. And why Windows? Because this is the most targeted one. Later on, as we move ahead, we will perform some Linux-based analysis as well. So we'll just pause the video for a while and then I'll show you how to install, the, uh, install an ISO image or I'll show you how you can um, uh, install a Windows machine over here. So you can open this link developer.microsoft.com and this entire link. And from here, you can choose your machine like Windows 10, 10 virtual box image that you can download. Why am I talking about virtual box image? You can anyway install an ISO image, which would require you to perform the installation from the very beginning. That is completely your choice. But since this is available to us, you can directly click on the download.zip option and it will download a zip file, which on unzipping, you will find that it has a virtual box image. So if so if you're using so if you're using, suppose, uh, if you're using a VMware or any other virtual machines, you can choose their images and it will get downloaded once you click on download zip. So once you download the zip file, you have to unzip it and then you can just double click on the option and it will open the, uh, it will open the virtual machine the Windows virtual machine. So 
I'll just show you how will it look like. So once you unzip it, this is how it looks like. You double click on it and it will start as your virtual machine. So after clicking on the link, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So you can change the name of the machine from here. For example, you can just write it as malware analysis. You may change the RAM as well. You can change it to 8096 or whatever you think is comfortable for you. Uh, I'm sorry, convenient for you. It would be better if you can give a better RAM, like a larger RAM than 4 GB because we'll be performing all kind of analysis. And once you're done with all these configuration, you can directly click on import. Before that, you can also choose your uh, folder where you wish to, um, uh, wish to have these uh, this machine so you can directly click on the import option and as you can see it will get imported so once the import is done i'll show you how does it look like just when you see that after installing your uh, <laughs> virtual machine and then downloading the image and opening it this is how it looks like it gives all the information. The password is this. It has uh, some expiry, like uh, it has a license, which is valid for 83 days. And there's some other kinds of information. So don't worry about all those things. Apart from that, in this is how it looks like. In Just in case, if your machine does not give you a full screen view, you can click on devices over here and click on insert guest additions CD image. Also, sometimes if it does not work out over here, you can go to the virtual machine manager, go to the settings. You just have to switch off your system before that. You move to the display option. Here you have to click on the, you have to move this option to 256 MD. And just click on this enable 3D acceleration. So you have to switch off the virtual machine. How do you switch off the virtual machine? You can either switch it off the way you normally switch off a machine. So you can click on shutdown. So once it shut down, so you, can, you can see that those options are visible over there. And once those options are visible, <coughs> sorry, once those options are visible, See, this is how it would look like. Yeah, so you can make those changes. And once you start it, it will uh, open in full screen mode. Again, if you see that it is not opening in full screen mode, just give it some time so that it can open. You can click on view option and select full screen mode. Just give it some time. Maybe you will have to just uh, open it twice or thrice and then it is good to go. Sometimes it takes some time. In my case, it has taken a bit of time for giving me the full screen mode. So it would work. Once you're done with the virtual machine and once your Windows virtual machine is ready, we will start with setting up the lab. So yeah, here you can see the full screen mode is giving me an entire full screen view. So we'll uh, see, uh, we'll have our next session in the next video. So that's it for today's video. See you all in the next session. Um, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Feel free to mention them in the comment section below. And see you in the next video. Thank you so much.